Hey guys, Jacob Jorgensen here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a bucket server. So basically, let's just get right into it. Go to bucket.org. Click get craft bucket. Download the latest recommended build. Save that. Now what you're going to want to do is just copy. Oops. Copy this text. And then, well, that's still downloading. Create a new folder on your desktop or wherever you want your, your uh, server to be. I'm just going to name it Bucket. Open that folder up. Right click New Text Document. We're going to name this Run. Delete the. Um, extension and change it to .bat. Then right click and edit. Paste that code. And then let's try that. Hopefully this works. And you want to allow public access if you're going to share it with other people. So just allow it access through your firewall and then wait for it to load up the spawn area Okay, once it's done, you just type stop. Wait for it to say press any key to continue and then just click, then hit a key and it'll close. Now you're probably going to want to edit some of your properties, so right click on server.properties and click open. And then select a program from list of installed applications. Click notepad, always. <laughs> then you can see here it's got level name, allow nether, I'm not sure what view distance does, spawn monster, be sh make sure online mode is set to true, you can set the max players to whatever you think your computer can handle, um, allow flight, I'm going to set to true, and whitelist to true, then I can just save it. And you can go into ops and add your username and whatever other people you want to be able to access it. Oh, it's me, my brother, and Elijah. And then what you're going to want to do is, unless you don't want other people to have access to it, you can just start it up like this. And then go into Minecraft, click login, Minecraft.net has been so slow today, oh my god, come on, Lock me in. Okay, well, it's not going to let me log in, so I'll, you can just do that yourself. You go into multiplayer, type in localhost, and you can connect. Now I'm going to show you how to make it so other people can access it. Open up your internet, and what you're going to want to do. Let's go to 192.168.1.1 and then type in admin and whatever your password to your router is. Wait for that to load up. <laughs> then 
then go to whatever your port forward is. Mine's applications and gaming, and it doesn't seem to want to load that part of it, so we're just going to click the and. But actually, it said applications and gaming, and this is a uh, Linksys, I believe. Now we just wait for that to load. Then once it's loaded it up, you can type in the name. I called mine Minecraft. The start and end are 25565. Protocol is both, and then we're going to find this and click enable. Go into your start menu, type in CMD, and then in command prompt, type in IP config, scroll back up, and you see this one right here? That's the one you want yours to be. You want to set it to this number right here. This one is 103 because that's my computer downstairs. Then go save settings. Hey guys, one thing I completely forgot to show you before I ended that first recording of this tutorial is how to actually let your friends on it. So what you got to do is you got to find your um, network IP, I believe. So I use IP Chicken. You can use what's my IP, or something like that, and then your IP address will be right here. I'm gonna blur mine out because I don't really want people knowing it, but it will be right here. So yeah, so just give them that IP, and if you have everything set up correctly, they should be able to join your server, and then other people should be able to access it. That's pretty much all there is to it guys so I'll see you guys in the next part of this tutorial where we show how to install plugins